Welcome to another episode of Beyond Shoes of Detective Gomez Files, and uh, today we're talking about uh, something, something very, very sad uh, that happened uh, yesterday on the uh, Kansas City Chiefs parade that was on February the 14th. Um, sadly to say, uh, 22 people were shot and one person lost their life. Um, very sad that uh, this happened because it was supposed to be a celebration of a uh, the Kansas City Chiefs uh, Super Bowl win, and uh, this happened towards the end of the parade. None of the uh, football players were injured during this shooting, but 22 people were shot, injured, um, and one person lost their life. And I just can't, can't understand how this keeps happening. Like, um, you know, people want to say, you know, take the guns away from people and things like that. You can't do that can't take the guns away from people I, I i don't know what is the answer for that because it wasn't like this was a, a ar-15 or anything like that uh it appears that these people these uh, juveniles they were juveniles that got arrested for um having this um uh guns and started shooting it says from what they understand that um according to the police Kansas City police chief stacy graves that thursday Shooting left 20 people shot with gunshot wounds, a woman was dead. It started a dispute between several people at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl victory parade and rally. And it just, I'm just sad. I just still can't believe this happened. I can't believe this happened. You know, there's like, you know, a lot of people there, obviously, but there's always going to be, you know, there's, there's always going to be somebody that not know how to act. These are kids, juveniles. Uh, it says here that the mass shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl. Claims life a local DJ. Uh, her name was um, Lisa Lopez Galvan, 44 year old D radio DJ, a mother of two. And she lost her life. And when somebody loses their life, it destroys a family. Okay? Her kids, brothers, sisters, parents, everybody just takes something that's taken from them immediately. And it's not there anymore. You know, once you lose your life, you're never coming back. And for these, these juveniles to have guns and start shooting for who knows what reason, um, sad. It says another 21 people were shot. Well, it says there were 21 people, I guess they consider 22, were shot and wounded. Uh, when gunfire erupted that's outside outside the Union Station and fans were leaving the celebration of the Kansas City Chiefs. The subjects were detained. At least one fire was recovered at the scene. And the motive is still unsure. But supposedly they had like a little... Uh, dispute. Lisa Lopez was the host of the Taste of Tejano um, uh, uh, radio radio show, and uh, she was at the uh, KKFI DJ Lisa Lopez. And uh, just says here, the senseless act has taken a beautiful person from her family in this KC community. Um, I just can't. I'm just very, very sad to read this. And uh, I just can't, can't, uh, the chaos that happened, nobody should lose their life at a, at a, at a victory parade. It's happiness. Somebody should be happy. Nobody should have to, uh, have to have, you know, and then sadly to say people that heard those gunshots and the, and the tw other people that were shot that were in the hospital, it's going to run them for the rest of their life. Since there are two juveniles have been charged in connection with the shooting of the Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl Parade, left one person dead and 22 injured, officials said Friday. Um, the juveniles were taken into custody after the parade and were held in the juvenile detention center on the gun-related and resisting arrest charges. Additional charges expected to, um, according to the police, invest as the police investigation continues. Someone, uh, see your chief, uh, or Kansas City Chief. Stacy Graff says, I'm grateful for the charges of the two juveniles who hurt innocent people simultaneously, scaring the whole entire community. She added, the investigators will not relent until everyone who may have played a part in this or apprehended, punished to the fullest extent of the law. That means they're going after everybody that was a part of this, which is good. Say that they take all the guns from everybody. Bad people that want to get guns can get guns. They can get guns. So we have to have guns to protect ourselves. 
but you got to know what to do with a gun when you have it. But if you see kids and things like this running around with guns, it's just no reason for kids to have guns. Kids, these juveniles. So I just don't know what, I'm, I'm very upset about this because somebody lost their life for no reason, just to go out to have a good time. Somebody lost their life and 22 people were injured also and, sh and shot and have, um, it's just something that's going to save the And then just the people being around and hearing the gunshots, running on the cars, trying to duck the cover, running for their life. Because when somebody starts to shoot you, those bullets go everywhere. You don't know where the bullets are going to land. And it's just sad. At the end of the day, knowing that somebody lost their life. Out there to have a good time and celebrate the Kansas City Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. And somebody lost their life. Just because these kids want to play with these guns. So all I, all I could say that if you see... Kids playing with guns, report them to the police as quick as possible because you may just be saving a life. Their life or somebody else's life. Because juveniles do not know how to shoot guns. And even if they did know how to shoot guns, you know, they, their, their mentality is not as an adult. Adults make dumb decisions also. But kids just, just don't, don't really think they're juveniles. Juveniles. And also what's really, really been good is that Taylor Swift has donated $100,000 to... Uh, uh, the DJ that lost her life, um, Miss Lopez, which I think is very, very nice of her to do, and also Travis Kelsey also donated some of them, uh, some money also to some of the victims that have been hurt in the shoot. So thank goodness they both came together and did some things. I'm sure more football players will probably do the same later, but as of right now, both Taylor and Travis have both donated money, and uh, doesn't solve everything, but it does help. So I just wanted to talk about that. Um, Say a prayer for their families and everybody that was involved that saw that. And um, hope these uh, juveniles get brought to justice. And I'm sure they will be and punished to the full extent of the law. All right. Uh, thank you for being part of the show today. And um, we'll see you next time on Beyond Cheers the Detective Gomez Files. Uh, we want to thank our uh, sponsor and attorney, uh, Mr. Juan Hernandez. He's a uh, personal injury attorney here in Dallas. He can help you with any kind of personal injury, slip and falls, car accidents, 18 wheeler accidents. Contact him at 214 900 0000. Or visit him at onelaw.com. Or you can visit me at detectivegomez.com with all your investigation needs. I'll be more than glad to help you out. I've been doing this for 30 years. I know a little bit of what I'm doing. So contact me if I can help you out. All right, take care, and I'll see you next time on Beyond Cheaters for the Day.